Back in 2013, the artist Barry Nemet arranged for work from Maryland Institute College of Art alumni to be shown in the Ethan Cohen Gallery in New York City, as well as at a converted high school called The Cube in Beacon, New York. Micah Then and Now currently has a third venue, the Noise Museum in Galloway Township, New Jersey. One of my personal favorites is an artist named Courtney Puckett, uh, Micah 2002. Though I didn't get to meet her back in 2013, I finally connected with her as she installed her work at The Noise. No, I went to the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. I asked her about her artistic journey from MICA to now. I started out as a representational painter at MICA. Early on, I discovered that while I was technically able to paint realistically, I didn't really have any ideas for paint, so I started using other materials, fabric, with the intention of painting on it. I made a discovery when I cut up a suitcase and sewed it back together and I was going to paint on it and then I loved the material and I loved the way it hung on the wall and so that's when I started to primarily use fabric and sewing and a lot of craft materials. That was back in 2001 and I'm still working in that way now. I collect fabrics and materials and I find stuff around my apartment in Brooklyn in my neighborhood. That's where I'm at today with my work. At the Ethan Cohen Gallery, Courtney exhibited a tower of interconnected round forms that she likens to a standing pearl necklace. At the Cube in Beacon, Courtney filled an old classroom with her visually stunning work. Many pieces hung on the wall. One dominating piece took up most of the center of the room. This piece, the artist likens to a maker of pearls. Iterations of this piece, as well as the tower piece, made it to the Noise Museum. The title of this piece is Pearl Belt, and I was also thinking of it as a large, oversized pearl necklace. It's solid fabric with plastic tape. Courtney calls the other, more freeform piece, Pearl Maker. It has a gold center, which is made from discarded placemats that she found on the streets of Brooklyn. So it's also this idea of the Pearl Maker is the shell, the oyster, like a machine. These are the things that are made by that machine. In addition to scavenging for materials at thrift stores and in my neighborhood, I also recycle old projects into new projects. I used a lot of plastic tape for the construction of the pearls, and then I saved all the tape rolls. And then she methodically wrapped each of these dozens of tape rolls with colorful yarn and eventually assembled them into the final piece. Clearly, formal repetition is one key to Courtney's sense of design. The act of wrapping with yarn is meditative. I see yarn as paint. Wrapping is like creating a texture, not unlike painting a surface. The colors of yarn are my palette. I think a lot of people are scared of using color. I say that a lot. For me, color is my language. Courtney, how do you make a living in Brooklyn? Selling your work? No, unfortunately not. I teach at several different schools, community colleges, at a college in Staten Island, and I've worked in galleries, I've worked for art magazines, so I've done a lot of different, yeah. I... Yikes. Cobbling together a life in the arts these days doesn't sound easy. But Courtney continues to share her beautiful vision with us, and I, for one, am very grateful, even though I wish things were a little easier for her.
I personally am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of Courtney's work. But I wanted to know about the ideas that lie beneath this aesthetic beauty. She said her original move from painting to textiles felt natural and instinctual, but with time, her thoughts have evolved. It has become a very determined exploration of the hierarchy of art and craft and also addressing issues of labor, particularly feminist issues of domestic labor. As an artist, Courtney wants to blur the lines between categories. I like for my work to be between disciplines and defy expectations of what is fiber art, what is sculpture, what is painting.